building around weakness policy on Poltergeist. Uh, I, a Poltergeist, sorry. I think a lot of people really sleep on this Pokemon. Um, just because, like... They should they shouldn't first of all sleep on this Pokemon. 134 special attack is massive. 70 base speed is really good. Weak armor is a really good ability on this thing. And we've actually used this exact combo before, where we go for like a shadow sneaking mon uh with a big weakness policy uh poltergeist before. We've done that before, but then the fact that it was 70 base speed meant it still couldn't outspeed Dragapult. Now, because Dragapult doesn't exist, the only Pokemon we actually have to worry about is like Inteleon. And so we can definitely outspeed Inteleon. Yeah, how's it going, my guy? You're the first one here. And then other than that, we have a bunch of really cool other things in the works. Uh, I still think Dracovish is an amazing pick, uh, especially with how we're going to be playing the Dracovish, which is going to be really, really nice. I, I want to hopefully make you these guys' teams and show you guys how these work so you guys can get a better understanding for what the meta is going to be. The meta is going to be a lot of screens. The meta is going to be a lot of Intimidates, Snarls, will o -Wisp. It's going to be a lot slower and bulkier with a more reliance on Trick Room. And so like, if we lead like Poltergeist Gardevoir, we can just dumpster like an Arcanine lead, an Arcanine, uh, what is it? An Arcanine Grimmsnarl lead. There's so many different things we can absolutely dumpster with a lead like that. Also, we're gonna be pulling our opponent in different directions. Like we could just lead Dracovish Weezing and they can't do anything with Arcanine uh, Grimmsnarl there. There's so many cool things we can do with this type of board. So let's try and build this team the best that we can. Uh, the first thing we wanna do after we've picked our six, which is Dracovish Weezing. Uh, we're gonna sit under Mantan for now, but I don't know if I wanna keep it. I might try use a uh, Draco Zolt here. Uh, then Gardevoir, Poltergeist, Volcarona. We want to pick our items, and so I think we're going to put a Life Orb here. I'm going to sit on a Black Sludge here, but I don't know if that is the correct item choice yet. We're going to be using a Scarf here, obviously. And we can change our Eevee spreads a lot because a lot of the Pokemon that uh, we would have needed the Scarf to outspeed, like Dragapult, don't really exist anymore, so we can actually completely change up our moveset and our Eevee spread. Uh, this Gardevoir is actually... I was thinking about making this an Assault Vest Gardevoir. Sorry, not Assault Vest, an Imprisoned one, but I think we're going to put Assault Vest. All right. Love the team building streams. Thanks for doing this. Hey, don't worry about it. We got our weakness policy right here. And I think that you actually do want Sash here. I think that you want Sash here. Normally, you want to go like Lumberry, but the fact that we're using a Misty Surge Weezing means we don't really have to. And so I think that Sash is pretty good. It just depends on exactly how we're going to do it. So we're going to leave that item slot open. The only thing we really know is that we want Rage Powder. And I was going to use Butterfree in this team, but remember, we're going to be trying to pair it with a Galarian Weezing. So we're going to have that Misty Surge on the board. So we don't actually want to pair it with Butterfree because those clash super hard. Yo, how's it going, Rage Potato? So let's start moving uh, into moves here. We're going to have Ficious Rend for sure. And remember, the last thing we do is our EVs. We want Ficious Rend and Psychic Fang. Psychic Fang's going to be super uh, pivotal in dealing with those Lapras's. And then we need one more move here. Uh, crunch is okay. And I don't actually think we want a Dragon move because we're going to be using Weezing to like cut that damage in half anyways. Uh, I'm looking at either Rock Slide, I think, or... I don't think Leech Life is that good. I think I'm just going to go with the Crunch here. I think Crunch is okay. We're very rarely going to be using whatever move this is. So let's actually leave that slot open for now. Because there might be a mod that, like, we don't need to check Tyranitar. So, like, we don't need Low Kick. We don't need to really, like, check anything with Crunch per se. So it's really hard to say what we should be using in that slot. So we'll leave that slot open for now. We think Weezing's move set's pretty pretty basic. Uh, I could talk about putting Clear Smog there instead of the Taunt. But I want the Taunt so we can have a better matchup versus Dusclops. And uh, we can also talk about Misty Explosion, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. I think the Taunt is just fine for now. Clear Smog's okay, but I don't think there's going to be as much of a prevalence of Weakness Policy Mons. And you don't want the will Wisp because we're using Misty Surge. Uh, so our main Tam, for example, we're going to be using that Scarf, I think. Uh, we want Icicle Crash over the Punch because we want that big flinch. We need a little more damage on this set. Uh, we want the Rock Slide. Uh, I kind of want to say I want the U-Turn, but it is kind of hard to say exactly how we're going to make it work. U-turn would be nice. Uh, let's go Flare Blitz. Should we go Flare Blitz? Yeah, Blitz is fine. Uh, Rock Slide. And then we don't want to go EQ because we're going to be hitting ourselves. I think about what the last really good move would be on this guy. Like, we could put Super Power, but again, like, Tarantar not existing really does change the meta. Sub on the Dracovish. We're not going to use Sub on Dracovish because we're using a Life Orb. It gets Encore. That's so sick. Hammer arms, okay. We'll leave that last spot open because there's definitely things that we can change. We might not even want to run it because I think this thing still gets like taunt. Yeah, it still gets taunt. We might just want to like completely change it up and not even run a girl attack to accept. We, again, we might not even keep the Darmanian 10 in this team. Up next is going to be the Gardevoir. Uh, I think you want Psy Shock over that. And then we will still put, uh, I think you want Dazzling Gleam over the Moonblast as weird as that sounds. And Misty Explosions here for place. 
Uh, but in reality, we don't really need that last slot for anything. What's it going to be? A Thunderbolt or something? Uh, we'll get to that when we have to. A lot of the mods on this team do carry the Protect. Uh, they will be carrying the Protect. So we'll be able to actually go for Misty Explosions, which is going to be super dope. Yeah, uh, we just started the stream. You say Iron Head? I mean, so the thing about Iron Head, right? Like, what are we Iron Heading? Like, Tokus doesn't exist. We, we can Ice Crash the thing anyways. Like, what are we Iron Heading? Like, tell me a Pokemon that we're going to be Iron Heading that we wouldn't just want to, like, Icicle Crash. Alright, so first move here is going to be Protect. Kind of need Protect. Uh, let's see what else we realistically want here. I think Giga Drain is usable for sure because Gastrodon's going to be massive in this format. Um, I think that Shadow Ball for sure. And then we have one more move slot, right? And I think that this last move slot is going to be super important, whatever we choose to make it. We don't want, like, a Strength Sap. Uh, we don't want, like, a support move. Like, Shell Smash would be really cool here. I don't think that's what we want. You, all right, so you're saying for the Darmantan to go for an Iron Head, right? So, like, an Iron Head would be 80, 160. It'd go to a 160, but, like, an Icicle Crash, right, is an 85 stab, right? So, Icicle Crash is a... Only about 20 base power weaker than that Iron Head. So, like, we can run the Calc, and I'll show you that Iron Head won't KO, right? So, since Iron Head is a two hit KO, so it, like, Iron Head probably does about 70% to Clefable, whereas Icicle Crash would do over 50, and they're both a two hit KO. And I'd much rather lock myself into my stab move than an Iron Head. It'd be different if, uh, like, it was a stronger move that we were using. The season one start tomorrow, it starts tonight. Um, we have one more move slot here, though. Giga Drain, Shadow Ball are nice. I think we want the Dark Pulse just for the special D-drop. As weird as that sounds. Like, what are we really going to be using here? We don't want, like, most of the moves. You'd be surprised. Uh, we could talk about Hyper Beam for speed control. But I think that just the Dark Pulse is actually pretty dope here. It increases our matchup versus um, a couple things. Yeah, we're gonna use, we're gonna use Exploding Guard. I think Dark Pulse is nice because it increases our matchup versus Oranguru a lot, and I expect to see a decent amount of Oranguru this format too. And then the Vault, uh, we want Protect here again. I think Vault's gonna have a pretty standard move set. Uh, we're just gonna go Heat Wave. And I was actually thinking about using a Chandelure here, but I think Vault is actually fine. So Heat Wave, and then probably just Bug Buzz. Bug Buzz is okay. We don't want to go, like, full wall. We want, like, more aggressive Volcarona on this team. Because, like, again, Dragapult not existing means, like, Volcarona finally has the time to shine. Uh, like, Titar is not here. Exodil's not here. Uh, like, we're going to have a much better matchup with this. The only reason you might want to cut the Protect is if we wanted to go, like, Giga Drain. And then, like, we go for... We cut the Heat Wave for, like, a Fiery Dance to make it a bulkier set to go improve our Pre-Marina matchup. And Pre-Marina might be an issue for this team, but again, like, that's what Poltergeist is for. Darmatian can have a somewhat good matchup against Pre-Marina in certain situations, and Weezing's great versus Pre-Marina after we EV train it. So we have most of our moves set around. Uh, we still need one more move there. Uh, we need one more move there. And I think we're all right. So what do we want to put on this Dracovish? Right? It's a, it's a good question. Like, what do we actually want to put? I don't think we want a Dragon Attack. I do not think that we want one. Mostly just because we're going to be pairing it with Weezing more often than not. I think Leech Life is definitely usable. AV Offense Blastoise. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people doing that. Zard, is, Zard Blastoise is so good right now, I think. And we don't need the low kit because Titar doesn't exist. I think I'm going to put the Rock Slide. I think I'm just going to put Rock Slide. Rock Blast is also something worth talking about. Ooh, it gets Stone Edge too. But then I'm not, I'm not faster than Zard. I wish this thing got literally, like, any sort of, like, speed-increasing move. Like, imagine if this thing got Dragon Dance, how busted that would be. This thing gets Meteor Beam, that's dope. Let me think about it. I'd like to find a way to, like, improve my speed on this thing, but yeah. Psy we already have Psycho Fing, it's right there. Psycho Fing is, like, super, super important. Yeah, I think Rock Slide's fine. Perfect. And we'll mess with the moveset when we get to it. Mess with the moves or mess with the EVs in a minute. It's the last move on this guy. I like the ability to have double Rock Slide too. It's really, really nice. Like, I'm not seeing a reason to actually pack a fighting attack. Like, what are we hitting with a fighting attack that we couldn't hit with all this stuff? What would be the best thing to be locked into? I did not know it got Lash Out. I 
I wonder how much damage, like, Lash Out does to, like, a Dust Cops if we're intimidated. What do you guys think? What do you guys actually think about that? Do you guys like the Lash Out there? I'm gonna try that Lash Out. I wonder how much damage we take, or we deal. I just wanna check one thing. Alright. Yeah, I'll try that Lash Out. I think it'd be actually super dope. Alright, Titar God. Yeah, Rain becoming really popular. I agree, Rain's gonna be really, really big. And then we have Gardevoir done. Alright, so now we just gotta move on to Eevees. Who eats Dust Cops? Arcanine? Uh, people that want to fight Darmanitan. <laughs> like, that's a really, really good lead versus Darmanitan. Like, I would lead Dust Cop Arcanine all day against, like, this team. Because you can just switch out the Arcanine after you intimidate. So you lead, like, Dust Cops Arcanine Gastro. And then you're, like, free to go. All right, let's mess with Eevee spreads. Now let's actually think about this. We don't have any airstreams on this team. That's one thing that is very problematic. I don't think that matters though. Like, I don't think we necessarily need airstream to make this team dope. Originally the bulk was a Butterfree. Maybe we'll switch that back to a Butterfree. I think I am gonna switch it back to Butterfree. Just because I think that airstream is actually really important. It was supposed to be like a uh, it was supposed to be like Rage Powder, Tailwind, um, Poly it's not using Sleep Powder, and Hurricane. That's fine. But how much speed do we need on Drakefish? That's a real good question. Hmm. That's not, don't think we need it. Uh, what's Inteleon's base speed? Arca uh, same, same number. Right. We just need to outspeed this thing. 189. So we need to go 190 at plus 1. 190 at plus 1. Give me a sec. Up. Oh my gosh, we need exactly 252 at plus one to get 190. So I guess we gotta go full speed. But we have, we can we afford the luxury of being adamant, which is super nice. So this at full speed actually outspeeds Inteleon. That's really nice. Uh Inteleon and Alkazam are actually gonna be really big too. So good stuff. Alright, next up is Weezing. Now Weezing's gonna be a weird pick. I'm used to using full special attack Weezing, but I'm not used to using a full health Weezing. And I think that Weezing is actually going to be a super niche Pokemon in this format. Like, I think I think actually putting a little bit of speed in Weezing is going to be really dope. Because it's going to help us outspeed a lot of those base popular 60s. So I want to put at least 12 points in speed. And I know that I want full here. And then from there, the last thing we have to do is run Calcs on Primarina. Not Primal Ground. How much damage does this do? Uh, Sludge Bomb. I'm looking for two shot numbers. All right, big fan of the teacup, yeah. You think Kingdra's gonna be a problem for this team? I mean, we have a Misty terrain. So like, we have a Weezing. So it's like, we're gonna be able to check a lot of these things. We're gonna, we're gonna go bulky. I just wanna see how much damage like Sludge Bomb does. It already looks like it's a one shot, or sorry, uh, it's a, so let's go like that. And let's see how much damage we do against that. So I want to put probably about... Because they're not going to be that bulky. How big are they like this? It's a 3 hit KO with 100 points. Yeah, I'm fine with 100. That's fine. Make 
sure. Okay, that's fine. It makes it super thick, just fast enough. Uh, it's our Manny Tan. Dark Arcanine's gonna be a problem, but like, I'm curious if like, how big of an issue it's really going to be. The Sog's cool. I like the Sog, yeah. I, I actually think I want to cut this guy, because like, I feel like I want a little bit more control, and I feel that like, Darmanitan, sorry, yeah, I feel like it's just not the sauce. I wanted to keep it, because it was really well with the Dracovish, but like right now, we're just asking to get super into, like we're asking for a bad Arcanine matchup. So we need one more mod to fill this slot. Labrys is okay if we wanted to bring like a Parish option for a late game, but I don't think that's dope. What gets Inner Focus? Mind Shadow's not bad. I'm thinking about like a couple other weird tech choices. Cause like, I'd like to have a wide, a brutal swing user. And Mind Shell gets it. Like, Mind Shell gets Inner Focus and Brutal Swing. So, like. So, like, Mind Shell Poltergeist is actually pretty dope. And it has a pretty decent, like, special attack stat, too. So, like, we can go with, like, a Mind Shell that has, like, uh. Like, special attacks. Is that Poltergeist? Yeah, it is. Like, I'm digging the Mind Shell, like, the special Mind Shell. Also, it's Ally Switch. I wish you got more special attacks. Because that's a decent special attack stat. And it gets Aura Sphere, you know, but, like... How does him deal with the fairy matchups? Uh, Poltergeist one-shots pretty much every Pokemon. What item do we actually want here, though? I don't think we want the Sash. I mean, Vicious in this team. Lumberry is pretty good here. which we could like I don't hate like Calm Mind here I, guess, I wish it got like just a couple more decent special attacks this thing gets bounced too what an amazing Pokemon oh wait what if I just want like this um I'm not gonna have to worry about proccing this of uh, the poltergeist on the uh the flinch chance because i plan on uh dynamaxing it gardevoir's ev spread's gonna have to be weird i don't want to do it like that 80 is such a niche number right now that there's not that many they banned a lot of the 80s like Togekiss and venus are both 80s sucker punch Galvantula, that'd be cool yeah mind you it's alex switch you know Al mind shell's like actually it's like wide guard Bounce. Mind Shell gets literally everything. If you're looking for just a Pokemon to splash on your team, when they made Mind Shell in Gen 5, the reason why it gets all those really good moves is because the Gen 5 meta, the Pokedex for Gen 5 and BGC in Gen 5, uh, used a very limited decks, and so they had to take out a ton of moves. And so at the start of the BGC 2011 format, like every team had Mind Shell, like Fake Out, Rock Slide, Wide Guard. This Pokemon had like literally everything, and it was just like the Swiss army knife that like kept the glue of the BTC 2011 format together. Hasty instead of timid on mind shout? No, no, no. We want to do like less damage. Oh wait, we want to be timid. My bad. Thank you. Now, what EV spread do we want on this thing? I actually am like a really big fan of like trace. Hopefully we can trace back their intimidate and going like, I want to do massive damage with this Misty thing. I'm actually okay just testing 
like this. I'm actually completely fine testing like this out and seeing if it works. It's technically better to use expanding force here, just in case. Ooh, we're gonna cut the dark pulse for Psyshock. shock because it doesn't get expanding force, right? Yeah. The reason we're doing that is so we can set for guard, and guard can go for expanding forces. And then our move set here is probably just going to be... I, I think you probably want to go... Like, I don't know if we need anything other than that. I think that's actually just okay. This team has... Awesome. This team's perfect. All right. So give a little bit of GLHF. Okay. So redirections, trick rooms, misty explosions. Oh, they just left. Hmm. Never realized Sigil gets an amazing move pool. Gets Ancient Power, Ice Wind, Flash Cannon, Heat Wave, Energy Ball, Solar Beam. I think, yeah, it gets Tailwind too, and I think it's Trick Room and Imprison. I wish that Mr. Rhyme got imprisoned so we can imprison Freeze Dry from Labyrinth. I think they just left. Oh, they just joined. All right, so let's see what, why do we want to deal with this? Um, yo, is that a sub? Yo, super dropping the sub. 19 months. Yo, thank you, my friend. Uh, yeah, let's just go with the combo. See if it actually works. We're going to go with the Mind Shell variant because if they lead incorrectly, we can just dumpster them. Like, if they lead fake outs, uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, and then Butterfree is a little bit weird here. I think we're going to bring the Dracovish. And I don't think we need Weezing in this matchup. Butterfree has a Sash. I think that just having a Rage Powder ability is really nice. So Azumarill and Simeon. I don't remember that. He's 76, so he is a fast boy. Uh, I guess we just fake out that thing. And, like, fake out Psyshock the Simeon. Like, what are you going to do? Overgrowth that thing too. Yo, is that another sub? Yo, Mocha. Yo, gift in a tier one sub. Yo, you're the sub gifter for the week, my friend. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, Airstream's fine. There wasn't that much we could realistically do about that. Yeah, it's a lot of damage over there. And let's actually see how I want to play this now. I think you just bring the butter free. And he could totally go for his Misty Explosion. We just have the Rage Powder up. And then I think you just go for a Phantasm onto the Passimian. And then we're golden. Yo, thank you guys for those subs. I appreciate it. It was a sub gifter for the week. Thank you, my friend. Hope you're enjoying the content. Yeah, it's fun to do like little showdown teams like this. And I'm actually really excited about this new format. I felt for a long time that a lot of the mods that we're getting rid of with the start of Series 6 are really, really oppressive. I'm not a fan of like how dominant Whimsicott can be and like how much fun is taken away from the game when you have like like i was talking about at the start of the stream there's no reason to run any ghost type as an offensive fast ghost type because dragapult exists and so now that there's no more dragapult we're for the luxury of running poltergeist and it completely changes every single pokemon's like ev spreads right it changes everything uh because like pokemon how do i how do i even explain this like you don't need to hit that dragapult speed tearing anymore yo aqua jet yo i'll take that airstream i take those Awesome. He's fast on that Azumaro, by the way, now. Dumpster. Fantastic. Give me, that, give me that defense drop that we don't even need. But we do need it because we have the boy. Dracovish. We still have our max. Still have full. Maybe they should make Trick Room a normal priority move to counter Prankster Tailwind. Ah, no, that would be not great. Trick Room is not supposed to be the counter to Tailwind. They're not supposed to counter each other. In reality, like right now, Trick Room already beats Tailwind, and Tailwind has nothing to say against it. Let's see what he sends out. There's a lot of redirection over there. Porygon might be problematic, but we have that big Poltergeist. And our Dracovish actually has no slouch here. We outspeed, we outspeed. We outspeed most of those mods. I'm pretty sure we can one-shot the Fable. Yeah, he just scooped. How long have I been doing competitive battles for? Uh, since the creation of the game, pretty much. I've been doing tournaments since the end of Gen 3. So that's like over 10 years. This team doesn't exist, so we don't play it. I wonder who's still laddering with like that stuff. All right, this is a cool matchup. So let's see, Orangru, I talked about Orangru being an issue, right? I took off the Dark Pulse there, but I did talk about it being an issue. So that means it's gonna be really hard to use Poltergeist here. And this is one of been a, this would've been a great place to use. This would've been a great matchup to use Volcarona in. Hmm. 
yeah, this is just a showdown skin. Um, let me think about what I want to do here, though. Uh, I do think that Gardevoir is nice. Because Gardevoir is good against, like, good there, good there. Like, I can't really stop a Trick Room that way, though. I think you want to go, like, Dracovish. And I, I almost want to lead Weezing. I'm going to lead with the Weezing. Like, we can not lead Weezing, and if they lead with the Moongus, we'll just switch it up. I like those two. You bring the Weezing in the back, and I think we're gonna bring the Gardevoir here. What tips would you give a Gen 1 3 player who's only just finished Shield? Um, the biggest tip I would say for like a Gen 1 3 player is that like they've completely changed how like speed mechanics work in this format. So like if something were to immediately get like an airstream or like an icy wind or get paralyzed, those things change immediately, right? And that's no that's not normal. That's really weird. Uh, we are just gonna go for the vicious rend here. I actually think. He's gonna try to go for the redirect. And like, do I care? I have 20 seconds. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna play I'm gonna play this one weird. You can totally rage pot, I don't really care. Yeah, go for it. It's not doing a ton there, but like, and you get your trick room up, but like this board sucks ass. So it's like have fun with your trick room. There's like no plays there. It's not about graphics. This is using a different stylish app. Yeah, sport doesn't work. We have a Misty Train up. Awesome. All right, so three turns left in the trick room. Oh my gosh, that's improbable. Come on. Uh, we could deal with it though. Um, we're switching our guard. Next turn, I'll probably switch the guard in. Okay. Oh, man, he's switching there. Taunt Misty is nice. It's super nice. I agree. Tracing inner focus. Yeah, I'll take those. And I'm slower than that guy. Super nice. Oh, man, we're thick. Last turn. All right, let me actually think about what I want to do here. Um, we are going to be probably... We have to get to a position where, like, that, that guy's done. We're going to actually just go for the Mindstorm there. And I'm going to retry and taunt that thing. Struck. Go for it. Hey, that's dope. That was sick. That was sick. He gets two of them now. And one's a one would have been a single target. That was a really good play though. Alright, but now we have the uh the boy. I think the wreck play is just in nuke the um it's 130 versus 130. It doesn't matter. We want to nuke the Oren Guru. It doesn't have he probably doesn't have protect on that thing. He's gonna be. Is he max guarding and trick room? Okay. Sash is up on the Oren Guru. Oh my gosh. He better go after this Dracovish. Yo, he ignored the Dracovish. He just leaves that Marowak. That's fine though. Alright, we're fine here. No reason to just throw attacks at that thing. Yep. This is kind of what I expect to be meta at when the meta actually rolls over. I expect this to be like what we're going to see a lot of. And so one really cool thing here is that like Poltergeist outspeeds and really plays against a lot of that stuff. So like Mindshow Poltergeist is really nice here. So is Guard. But I feel that like Mindshow might be a little bit more value because we can fake out things that need to be back at like a Grim if we have to. And it also has the fling for like turn two plays. I think that this is the better play because he has very limited speed control outside of the Zard. And like, I think it's I think it's value. I think Dragovich is still nice. Do I need the guard here? It's hard to say. I think we're gonna just go butter free. All right, let's see what we got. Grim and Cautizer. A ticket to a better night's sleep. Let's see what they want to go for. If I'm getting foul played, I'll lose. Like I can go fake out here, and like, uh, such a bad matchup for Grim. Who's the bigger threat? Alright, 
Alright, we're gonna go with this. If they get screens up, I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do, but I think I'll be fine. I wonder what he thought I was gonna do. That's another thing, like, I wonder what the thought process is here for this guy. Decent damage. Alright, so he wasn't using a trick set. Water Pulse is completely fine. This actually is really good for me that this goes away, because now I can just come up with Butterfree and go Rage Powder, and just dumpster the Grim. I'm trying to stop the Thunder Wave. Yep. Oh, he missed the Thunder Wave too, I'll take that. Bye-bye now. Doesn't matter to me what you use. Dragon Pulse, not today, Chief. Butterfree busted. Now let's see what he actually wants to do with Zard. Would not be surprised if Zard came out and used Airstream. We also haven't maxed yet. Urshifu, why is it all the way over there? What Urshifu is going to do? It's fighting. Alright. Okay. I think I like this play a little bit more. I want the Tailwind. And it'll block the Sucker Punch. He can just attack the Butterfree. He can go like, bam, bam. Dynamaxing, okay. It's really weird. I don't know why we can't see it. Darkness is fine. Yeah. It goes through there, but like... Give me my Tailwind, bro. It's fine. Fighting Dark. I think I can one-shot that. Who's actually faster? That sucks. It would have been nice to go for a Phantasm. Urshu doesn't want to even versus Fish, but like, what does Fish even do to it? Like, I'm sure Fish is friend KOs. Well, it, does, it might not KO, is what I'm trying to say. And this is all like chip damage I've taken. It's my own fault, you know? It doesn't KO, you know? Now let's see what he goes for. He's probably gonna go here. Darkness. Yep. The only good thing here is that like my Drake Wish isn't locked into that. So, like, we'll see how this wants to go. Oh, that sucks! That sucks. That's, like, the worst mod. That sucks. Never lucky. I thought it'd be Zard. I probably could have played that differently, and I want to say something. That game is a perfect example of why Showdown is absolutely terrible to practice against. That game is a perfect example. Fucking the sprite's not even there. Like, how am I supposed to create, like, a realistic game sense? When, like, how am I supposed to correctly analyze the board position when one of the mons isn't even on it? It just creates an, such an unrealistic sense of what the game is supposed to look like. That, like, obviously, I over-predicted it, or I over-respected that pick because, like, it's fucking, I need, I need the game to look normal again, you know? I should have just I should have just double checked it. I should have just double tapped it with the uh Maxmon. Yeah, I hate playing on showdown. I do too. But we're just testing right now, so it doesn't really matter. But that's a perfect example of why showdown sucks. Alright. Scissor's okay. We might outspeed Kingdra if he's not full speed. I actually think we all want to get away with like. I want to try this lead against them because I think it might be really nice. Um, I'm gonna bring Dracovish, and I think I still will bring the Poltergeist. As weird as that sounds, I think Poltergeist could still make some plays here. It's gonna be hard to get that Ferrothorn off the board, but I have a couple ideas. Iron barbs, give me that iron barbs. Dope. Actually, want to do just D-Blame. It's fine. I don't care if I get poison jabbed. I'm not gonna max here. Wow. Drill run, huh? Go for it. Alright, no iron defense. Perfect. Good read. Alright, taking out the bear scoot is really nice. Even if we lose our guard here, I think that's okay. I don't want to lose the wheezing. Yeah, wheezing's really important to keep. And I also don't want to switch it out either. 
Politoed. That's not a good play. I think that's incorrect. Helping hand. Yo, he wants that damage. It's good damage there, though. It's good damage there. And a citrus. Okay, cool, cool. Second body press. Don't do shit. He helping hand body press. Oh, he helping hand the wrong way. Alright, so we just gotta retaunt that thing. Yeah, we're fine. Yo, Weedle's here. Wait, is this Weedle? No, Weedle's in, ch in chat. Sorry, Showdown needs to update their sprites. No, sorry, I was not reading my stream. My mouth. My bad. Uh, we're just gonna Drake Fish here. What's Weezen's item? We had a Black Sludge on it. Just okay out here. It's ram boosted. Yeah, sorry, I wasn't reading stream. I was uh, just concentrating on the game. Oh, crit me. Oh, never lucky. Never ever lucky. Rain has two turns left. Let's see if it's Kingdra. Boo, Kingdra, boo. Okay. Um. We'll see. He's gonna helping hand. Oh, Wormwind. Okay, is he not helping hand? Ow, almost died! <laughs> Bro, he almost killed me! <laughs> alright, Apologize done. Alright, alright, here we go. Alright, what do we do here? Phantasm doesn't do shit for me, but like, it's my biggest stab. All these moves are ass. It's my geyser. Whoa, that's an incorrect choice, my guy. You're letting my Dracovish just take pot shots at you right now. Incorrect. I got two mons, you got one. I'll take it. You guys are all you want. And I'll I'll get the win. Big teapot. Definitely not a free game. I think team's fun. I want more games. I want to see more uh, games that I can bring, like, the combo. Okay, I like this. Oh, he just scooped. Okay. I'll take it. Yo, wins up, right? Alright. Um, so Zard is really cool to see. Beat up Zard, actually. So we outspeed here. Problem is, like, I don't know if I one shot like a Taraki. Actually, I can. Yeah. <laughs> I'll try it with those. And then I think our last mod, there's a ton of AoE on that board. Like, everywhere. And so I think you're better off just going with, like, guard. And maybe tracing something that can maybe help or something. You trace, like, Intimidate from the Crook, trace Levitate from the Hydragon. This is good for me. I think I could one shot the Hydragon. Uh, he didn't say if it was an Intimidate, so it's, it's probably... Is it Moxie? That's weird. It's probably better to go for a Mindstorm. As opposed to that one. Mindstorm would make it... I mean, if he's really gonna switch to Hydro. Brutal Swing. Yo, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna help you out, my guy. Trakion, I'm gonna help you out. He would take that Justified proc all the way to the bank. He's probably going for a Dark Attack in here, and I'm just gonna idiot. Yeah, I probably should've just took out the Crook. Oh, beat up, no target. All right, cool. That's why I thought he was using beat up. It's just that we're too fast. But I could have stopped the beat up. I would have took the crocky on damage, though. But I could have stopped the beat up user in its tracks. And now if he wants to send up the uh, Kobalion, we already have Psychic Surge up. Let's see, though. There's Kobalion. And now we got the damage. Let me actually think about how I want to do this. Because I can, I can just fling um, this guy. And go for it. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So fling there. And then... Hmm. This is stabbed, though. So it's still stronger. Let's do it. Let's see how much damage you take. Big damage. Oh my gosh, Sash is up right now. Oh yeah, man, he would have killed him, though. That's oh, he would have right. killed him with beat up. Uh-oh. That's fine. Steel spike. Yeah, we live in though. We live in though. Thank you for the follow. For you, it's better to use helping hand or moves that or opponent's defenses like pictures. 
A helping hand is more consistent because it plays around like a few other things. Helping hand's more consistent. I think helping hand's better. Because like you can just switch away from like a stat drop. Could you share the team? Uh, we're not done with it. We're still building it. It's not done yet. Yeah, you just scoop. That game was over. Poltergeist is really strong if used correctly. I like this mind shell set though. Mind shell set's pretty dope. All right, I told you. Didn't I tell you guys that Oren Guru was gonna be really good in this format? I told you that it was gonna be good. Uh, we have to bring. I think Drake is still pretty pog. Especially against that type of board, I think Dragovich is really nice. Uh, I kind of want my Weezing. I'm gonna go Dragovich and Weezing, actually. They're pretty good together. And then... I, I could go Mind Shao and go for the actual play. Maybe I should do that. Yeah, actually. Actually, I like the Guard of Barbarian a little bit more. Let's try those two. And then we bring the Dragovich in the back. And then we don't really need the Mind Shao. But Weezing's pretty dope here. Let's go. Weezing's so good against Grim Snarl. Like, seriously, it's absolutely amazing. Alright. Yo, I got soundproof! That's busted! <laughs> Yo, he scooped! I'll take those. Doesn't neutralizing gas remove Fish's strong drop? We're not using neutralizing gas. What's the main idea behind Misty Search on Weezing? Oh, uh, because Grim Snarl is gonna be like every single team that we play. And Misty Search on Weezing. Makes it so you can just switch in next to the Dracovish, and it makes it so Dracovish doesn't really have that Drago weakness either, because Misty Terrain protects, uh, it weakens the power of Drago moves, so it makes so it, like, Dracovish doesn't take as much, like, Dracovish can fight Kingdra's, Dracovish can fight other dragons a lot easier. And so the, when I started building the team, it was actually built around Dracovish Weezing, and that was the idea. And also we have, it enables the Misty Explosion of the Gardevoir. It's not like a super meme team, I think this team actually has, like, potential to be okay. But let's see, Urshifu... Braviar is problematic. I think I want to set Tailwind here. He doesn't have that many uh, money pick options. I'm just gonna go with these two. I think that uh, Butterfree Dragovish is good. Gardevoir is okay too. I think Gardevoir Weezing are fun. Let's try those. Yeah, I just think that Misty Surge is really, really good right now because a lot of people are gonna be overusing uh, Grimmsnarl and Arcanine. And we fought a few Grimmsnarls. Is that that double Intimidate lead? Bro. What if I let Gardevoir? I brought the Gardevoir. Not wheezing. Oh no. Get our Puffuddle off right now. How's it going? Yo, it's going pretty good. Oh, bro. Incorrect choice. What did I trace? Um, I got Intimidate. Awesome. We will poison and sleep. That works for me. Poison and sleep work for me. Yo, Crooked Owl. It's, it's called Dazzling. Maybe you heard of it. Oh, no. I don't know about that one, Chi. Uh-uh. Yeah, you're about to be getting big sad. Like, what are you even using? Weakness policy, Crooked Wow. Fire, max flare on the Butterfree. Don't even get the KO because we busted. Because we're strong. We're confident. I don't know if you're Scarf. No, you have weakness policy, so you're dead. G-Max Butterfree? We use we actually use G-Max Butterfree a lot. You'd be surprised. We use it a lot. I use Butterfree about two times a week. I just don't ever make like content with it. I don't ever make it into YouTube videos anymore. I hate that Urshifu, man. It's all on the wrong side. That hit on top's asleep. You guys want to do? You guys want to see something funny? Let's go. All right, wheezing, popping it off. Let's go. <laughs> asleep hit on top. That's what I thought. <laughs> Sash, no, it's Sash. Big sad. That doesn't do any damage though. Psycho cut or Zen headbutt on Galade? Uh, I like Zen headbutt a little bit more. If it's just my opinion. That guy's good. I mean, we could have just used Dazzling Gleam without one. Alright, Mind Shell, Mirror Match. Uh, I have to remember Mind Shell. Those are the rules, I don't make them. Mind Shell Battle! Dragonfish is still nice here. Why watch out for Trick Room on the Shandy? 
I'm gonna bring the Weezing. I don't know if it's a good idea. Misty Explosion's fun. Regis and Rio. I could one-shot that. You think he's really gonna go for the max card play? Because, like, I think I can actually just fake out there and just go for a big Phantasm here. I think I actually just want to nuke the Riolu. He's gonna max card. You don't think I know what's up? Huh? You don't think I know? No one told you that I've seen this combo a million times and I'm the best player that's ever played Pokemon? Not today. Is that... Teacup, that's right. Alright, what is this? Amoongus? Alright. Okay! Amoongus, yes! Let's see what we actually want to get done here. Because he's just going to go for Trick Room. He's going to go Redirect and Trick Room. So we're going to switch in our... Oh, uh, I can't stop the TR with that, though. I can just KO the damn thing. Oh, he's so good! Why you gotta be so good? That's all right. Can't TR Dynamax. You're right, you're right. I'm an idiot. That's why I hate playing on Showdown. I hate playing on Showdown. Oh, that one-shotted through the... What? Holy crap. I hate playing on Showdown, guys. It's a, such an unrealistic game experience. It's like the game doesn't even matter. Y'all play on Showdown so you're used to it. Not used to it. Oh, I'm a flingless. Get ripped. Get ripped, Shandy. You better be scarfed. I'm coming for you. That's right. Flinch. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Dragon Shots be popping off. I can't do any damage here. <laughs> Fuck him up. It's fine. That's right. Brutal swing. Big damage. Yeah, that's game. We win. That was funny. I thought the maximum was gonna Dynamax. That's what I get for being bad. I'll take it though. Oh yeah, no. Uh, Fling Mind Shell like is really old tech, but it's fun. It is fun. That guy didn't bring his Mind Shell. He would have. He would have won. Let's see though. I'm like I'm digging the Mind Shell. Mind Shell teacup. In case he wants to lead fake out. And I can fake out the Town Flame. Dracovish is still nice here, even though he has his. I think I'm gonna bring my Weezing. Butterfree is also good here, but I think that like Dracovish is pretty good. Yeah, playing King's Rock is really nice. What do you think about Trick Room Overheat Leaf Storm Fling? What do you mean? Oh, flinging those? It's not about flinging the flinging the Iron Ball is actually really nice. Uh for specific Pokemon, because you can have like a, like Weedles used the fling and the TR thing, I think before, but like, I think it's better to have the Iron Ball because it gives you like a TR option and an outside of TR option. All right, how do we actually want to deal with this? Because like, I can deal with a lot of this. I, I can just go fake out there. And I mean, I could just, I, I think it's actually a better idea to set up Mindstorm because even if he, he has to max guard here, right? You have to max guard here. And that, wait, that takes away the Airstream Right, that's completely fine. Like, it seriously does not matter. Because, like, I want to take you out. Triple Axel, go for it. Oh my gosh, I'm so fast. Oh, it only hit me once? No! What? Why did it hit me three times? It only hits once? What? How's that move work? I'm so confuzzled. What? I mean, I'm faster than he is now. But, like, that's weird, right? How, about, how is this supposed to work? Whatever. Whatever. Actually, I might not be fast. I might be faster. I don't really know exactly. No, Town Flame's faster. If it's a Jolly Town Flame, he's still faster. Yep. Ow. Yeah, we live in, though. We thriving out here? Give me another speed boost, Chief. Good thing I didn't use Vicious Ren, huh? Huh? Why are you so fast? <laughs> I hit three times on that one. 90% each hit. It didn't say that you like missed. You just hit, it said it did it once. Either way, we're fine. I'm so fast right now. Dracovish is not so fast right now, though. Oh, 
I'm so good at Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Yep, I'm good. I am the best Pokemon player. Vicious Ren sucks here. Let's go for it. He has, an, he has a defense drop. Yo, big damage. All right, where are you looking? You got AoE? No, you don't. Oh, and your orb. Yo, you're big sad, huh? Big sad. Doesn't say it misses. Yeah, it just says hit one time. Okay, that's weird. It's a weird move. Yeah, we win. We tried. But I think this team's a lot of fun. Big Poltergeist energy. All right. So that was a fun, that was a fun team. I like that team a lot.